We're back and now it's time for Live Healthy MD with Dr. Francisco Huckabee. Dr. Huckabee, welcome. Thank you. I'm excited about our segment. Me too. It's, it's been very gratifying for me to be able to get out and really talk to people about living healthy and different yeah. things. A lot of misconceptions about dieting and exercising. Um, today I would like to talk about calories. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I was talking to you before we aired uh, that I download this app. Yes. Uh, and what the app does, it's called Fat Secret. Mm -hmm. uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, even water. I log during uh -huh. the course of the day what I take in. And it makes me accountable. And it also makes me conscious. Yes. Uh, so yes. it's also counting calories. It's counting the, uh, how much exercise. But I'm glad you want to talk about uh, caloric intake. So I think, I think what you're mentioning right now, having the ability to track what you're doing is mm -hmm. very important. Right. Because we tend to put things in our mouth that our brain doesn't even realize what we're doing. <laughs> so the reality check comes when you put it down. And then you say, really? Did I put that? I ate four did donuts. I actually, <laughs> did I actually eat that? Right. Um, but the important thing is there is a lot of misconception. People don't really truly understand what a calorie is. Right. You know, right. people say, don't eat that, that calories, don't eat this, or right. eat these calories that are supposed to be good. Right. Um, so I want to clarify a little bit of that. Yeah, so let's do that. Calories is energy. That's what it is. It's the energy that our body uses to be able to function. Fuel. It doesn't matter where it comes from. It can come from a fat, it can come from a protein, it can come from a donut or a pizza. Right. It's still calories. Right. Now, different foods, different types of food have different load of calories in right. it. Uh, and without realizing, we can put a lot of calories inside our body. And the problem is when we are consuming more energy right. than the energy that we're using. Exactly. Explain you know? that. Expound on that for some, because I think that that's where the communication breakdown is, is yes. that we take it in and we yes. don't know what we need to do uh, to burn it off. E exactly right. So um, the amount of calories that we eat, meaning the amount of energy that we eat minus the amount of energy that we use, is either going to make us gain weight right. or lose weight. Right. If I eat 1,500 calories, I use 1,500 calories, I don't gain or lose weight. But if I eat 1,500 calories, use 500 calories, I have 1,000 calories that I need to eat or use or it's going to yeah. make me gain weight. Yeah. You know, what is our body going to do with the excess energy? It's going to turn it into fat. Right. So where is that fat going to go? Obviously under the skin, which makes us, it's more a cosmetic issue. Visceral. But the visceral fat, mm -hmm. that is the problem. The fat that goes around your heart, yeah. the fat that goes inside your liver, that long term it's going to give us diseases. Yeah. It's going to give us diabetes. It's going to give us blood pressure problems. It's going to give us heart attacks. It's going to give us strokes. Right. And that's where the essence of the problem is. Now, how do we control that? We need to know what we're putting in. Right. And we need to know how to get it out. Right. Now, how we get it out? You know, our body has mainly has many ways of using energy, but the two main ways is one that we call our metabolism. Well, that's yeah. the magic word, right? Yeah. And how to understand metabolism, I think probably the easiest way to put it um, I guess the technical term is basic metabolic rate. Mm -hmm. um, but to put it a little bit more simple is the amount of energy that your body uses to keep you alive. Right. If you get your car in the morning and you put it in your driveway, right? You turn it on, don't move it all day long, leave it there. Mm -hmm. Your car is going to use gas it's gonna use to gasoline, keep the engine. Whether keep it's the moving engine, or not. It, whether it's moving or not, because you've got to keep the engine running, right? Right. Our body does the same thing. Wow. Whether we move or not move uses energy right. to keep our heart pumping, keep our brain working, keep us breathing. The amount of energy that our body uses to keep us alive, mm -hmm. that's our metabolism. Wow. Uh, I used to do something, and uh, I have to say this, John, try this at home. I would get <laughs> up in the morning, uh -huh. and I would go through the course of the day and not eat. I would have a peppermint yeah. or two just to function um, because I didn't really like eating out a lot. I wanted to mm -hmm. be home uh, and eat my meal. So in my mind, uh, I processed that I'm doing a good thing uh, by, because not by not eating yeah. and I'm going to save all of my calories and I'm going to have a balanced meal when I get home. Well, the danger uh, and the detriment is what my glucose levels were like 40, 45. It's your body's perception of what you're doing. Yeah. So, you know, um, when, you, when you think about dieting, you say, okay, I'm going to eat right, or I'm right. going to decrease the amount of calories, right. and I'm going to be good. Right. Um, and the moment that you reduce the amount of calories to be able to lose weight, your body's perception is not yours. Yeah. So you're, you're thinking, okay, I'm going to lose some weight, I'm going to eat little calories. Right. Your body thinks you're starving. We're going to starvation, right? Yeah, we're going to starvation. Your body got to defend to it because starvation will take you to death. Wow. We were made to survive. Right. So... 
um, and how, how is your body going to defend against um, the little amount of calories that you're eating? It's going to crash your me metabolism. Yeah. How important is your metabolism for weight loss? It's really important. Yeah. Let me give you a very little example. Okay. I eat 1,500 calories. Mm -hmm. Let's say my metabolism alone uses 1,500 calories, which means that any exercise or activity that I do during the day is going to help me lose weight. Right. Right? But what if my metabolism, instead of being 1,500 calories, only 500? Yeah. I mean, the numbers are not exact, but let's say it's 500. Exactly. Right? exactly. Then I have 1,000 calories at the end of the day that I need to either exercise them off mm -hmm. or do something with it if I don't want to gain weight. Right. Now, is it easy or difficult to use 1,000 calories in energy by exercise? Uh, I would say easy. Easy. So that's one of the... The one of the myths. The, one of the <laughs> myths, right? So using, if I go to the gym uh -huh. and I say, okay, I'm going to go to the gym and use 1,000 calories by exercising, it's near impossible. Yeah. You gotta be either a professional athlete to be able to <laughs> consistently do that. To give you an example, if I go on a treadmill, mm -hmm. and uh, the speed of the treadmill, I put it all the way up to six. Yeah. I will have to run ten miles in a row to use a thousand calories. In Get energy. out. So it's a tremendous, uh, tremendous amount of exercise. Right. So the average person, the average female, will burn between ninety-three to ninety-six calories per mile run, not walk. Run. Run, not walk. Not it, walk. It, does that have anything to do with height and weight and age? It does have some variance, but mm -hmm. we're talking about the average person. Average person. Yeah. Somebody that's six foot ten, two hundred pounds of muscle, it's gonna burn a lot more. Right. Than because me, than because it's muscle. Because it's muscle. Okay. But if you talk about the average population, a guy will burn about a hundred calories per mile wow. run. Wow. And a female between ninety three to ninety six um, calories per mile run. Wow. Now if you walk you're pretty much cutting that in half. So that's the other misconception. What do we think exercise really is? Yeah. You know, because, you know, on, on some talks that I have with my patients, I said, are you exercising? I said, yes. You know, I go walk around Walmart and, <laughs> you know, go to the mall and I get I my activity. I walk around Walmart. <laughs> so that, that, that is also the misconception, right. right? What the difference between activity and exercise is. Yeah. You know, exercise creates impact on your body while activity is what your body's used to doing. It's what it's used yeah. to doing, and it's the, do you burn calories. You do burn calories when you do your activities. Yes. But you're not burning them the way that you would burn them if you were exercising. Exactly right. Wow. So understanding that the amount that we put in. You know, another little example, you know, Big Mac meal from McDonald's. <laughs> 11, 1,100 calories. Yeah. I eat that for lunch, I gotta go around 11 miles just to get rid of the energy that I eat for lunch. Wow. So being accountable for what we eat right. is also extremely important. Yeah. Understanding what we're putting inside our body that we need to get rid of if we don't wanna gain weight. Yeah, that is powerful and profound. And thank you uh, for dispelling some myths that I just uh, had in my head uh, to thank justify <laughs> what I wanna do. Yes, <laughs> yes. the other myth is I'm gonna run today to eat later. Don't do that. I'll run the day work. to eat later. And don't have a peppermint uh, and think that you are saving your calories until the end of the day. That is just crazy. But if you find that you're in a situation and you've done everything that you could in your own power, uh, Live Healthy MD is in Augusta, Georgia on Washington Road in yes. Dublin. And in Dublin. Right. And we'll have the information on the screen. And then I want you to tune in every week because Dr. Francisco Hockerman will be here sharing uh, this information yes. and tips so that we all can live healthy. Uh, we'll be right back after the break. We are